Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the Ascending Tide DLC, this time on my Magicka Necromancer with the best in slot PvE set, Kinras, which gives Major Berserk and Minor Berserk for your mates, with 5 stacks, easy to get with light or heavy attacks. The uptime in combat is extremely high, especially against multiple targets, it's basically always up. So 10% extra damage on everything. Backbar. The strongest backbar set, you know it, Rallying Cry, with a ton of crit resistance and 300 spell damage, the way to go on probably every class. A Swithic item, Markun for extra resistance and spell damage. On the front, but the Master's Inferno stuff, it gives 600 spell damage for 4 seconds after using Flame Clench or Spammable and Knockback on top with the burst combination Blast Bones into Flame Clench into DB. Enemies will literally melt. Insanely strong arena weapon. Use it, guys. As filler, one magma incarnate for extra magicka and stamina region. Trades five sturdy and two were fitted. We don't need impen. We have more than enough good resistance. Thanks to running cry. Full prismatic glyphs for max HP, health, and stamina. One heavy. 3 medium armor pieces and 3 light armor pieces full infused on the jewelry, 2 spell damage and 1 magicka recovery if you play CP campaign or in general CP like I see then you can probably use full spell damage here but for better grounds I need the magicka recovery front by inferno stuff for the flame clench for the CC and sharpened with the berserker glyph back bar nirn and sturdy sword and board with the escapist poisons skills on the front bar degeneration for major sorcery and extra dot stalking blast bones flame clench or spammable and CC mortal coil for extra healing and stamina region Inner Light for Major Prophecy and 7% um, Max Magicka just slotted. And Dombek of Smiting, our offensive ultimate. Backbar, Purse Armor for Minor and Major Breach. Race Against Time, our Snare Removal. Resistant Flash, our Burst Heal, definitely better than Vigor. Summons Armor, our Resistance Buff. Spirit Guardian for 10% unique damage mitigation and extra healing and spare wall as defense ultimate as ways as you can see i'm kajit probably not the best choice but it's my pve char 2 i would say the best ways probably high elf or danma or even breton for cost reduction should be better than kajit mundus the atonarch for our extra magica region krakoxitos 3 as buff food 44 points in magic and 20 in health. Potions, the tricep potions. CPs, nothing special. Biting Hour, Mastered Arms, Steady Aim, Iron Clad, Celerity, Sustained by Suffering, Pain Suffuge, and Slippery. The PvP combination is simple. Try to keep up Race Against Time for Minor Force and apply Pearl's Armor before you even start. Then Blast Bones, followed by Degeneration, into Flame Clench, into Dawnbreaker. Don't forget to use Light Attacks or Heavy Attacks in between. Small tip, try to stay as far as possible for Blast Bones to increase the damage and then step closer for Flame Clench and DB. Now we'll leave you with some bad to gameplay footage before the video starts. Like always, don't forget to sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below. I would really appreciate it guys. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao!